Hello everybody, I am the Valley Viking, and today I thought I'd go ahead and do another episode, but with a little twist. So, usually I watch the videos to go ahead and, and um, react to them, but today I thought, why not visit something that I haven't tried yet, or, or done yet. So, um... Today, I want to ask for my first question. Do you know what it is whenever you get very angry, but only for a fraction of a second? That's called being mildly infuriated. So, <laughs> without further ado, we're going to go ahead and visit Reddit with the mildly infuriating uh, stories. The first one that we have here every now and then someone visiting one of my neighbors parks on the cul-de-sac's median all of the houses around have enough driveway space to accommodate them they've already ran into a street shared mailbox and knocked it over once <clears throat> and they got a big truck too knocking over a mailbox that's pretty bad I mean, you don't have to put it up, but still, like, that's other people's it's shared property. Why are you parking there, too? Or there's nothing but grass. Makes no sense. From Peacock. From the writer-director of Knives Out comes this Mystery of the Week series only on Peacock. New episodes Thursdays. Is that mildly? Oh, it's promoted. Okay. It's only on Peacock. That's what's mildly infuriating. When Walmart sells TikTok products. True that. <laughs> this blew up really quickly, and I was barely told about this just recently. I didn't even know that was a thing. But then again, we sell Prime, too, so... I don't know. Over $180 gets taken out of my paycheck every two weeks for health insurance, and my MRI tomorrow is going to cost me over $2,000 with insurance. Wow. No. That's a lot of money. Estimated deductible hospital service co-insurance. That's crazy. And people want you to get these, these x-rays and things, and it's just ridiculous for the prices. The chicken sandwich alone is $8.39. That chicken sandwich is $8.39? Why would you buy it? Just go somewhere else. Oh, God. Nope. Yes. Is there a way to know what number we'll be calling so I can be sure to answer your phone number? <laughs> I meant the number that will be calling me. Yes. Like, who will show up on the caller ID? Yes. I'm asking what number will appear on my phone when the door dash calls. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Thank you for the help. Really. I appreciate it so much. You are... You are so helpful. Why are loud video speakerphone calls now a spectator sport in public? Like... Yeah, why, why would you be answering a phone call so everybody can see and hear your conversation? <sighs> Dropped in a five gallon bucket of used motor oil. That sucks. That sucks. How my daughter plays with Play Doh. Oh. Well, you will never be able to get those apart. Or maybe she didn't mix them together. Maybe she just placed them on top of each other. Maybe you could separate them. I don't know. 
kind of sucks too. The way this neighbor parks over the sidewalk. The whole back end, you know, that happens a lot. That sucks. GPS pulled me off the beaten path because it was quicker only to get stuck in traffic jam for over four hours. That's not mildly infuriating. That's super infuriating. I would hate to get stuck in traffic jam and because of my GPS that mm, not using GPS ever again. Uber Eats refusing to refund a dessert that was not delivered. Mochi ice cream ordered, but not received on my most recent order. Thanks for providing this information. We'll connect you to the next available customer support rep representative. Hello, Justin. I'm Irish. Thanks for contacting Postmates support. Hi. I have read previous messages above. We're sorry to hear that there is a missing item in your order, Justin. Sorry to hear. And that was it. Hmm. I don't know. Pisses me off that they didn't call it Peepsy. I mean, I I guess. I mean, you can't really change the name of the brand, right? That's that's Pepsi. I mean, I guess they could have. <laughs> It's two different brands, though. I mean, you can call it Peepsy if you want. It's not really angry. Celebrities like this. It's my aspiration to make music that everybody can enjoy, except for straight men. Really? That's... That's pretty messed up. <clears throat> I accidentally dropped my card at work the other day, but I got it back. Today I wake up and see a couple hundred dollar charge on my account. Geniuses gave their address for the online order. They're all set now. We'll keep posted and you can always track your order's progress. <laughs> Checked into our motel room. Tonight I found this. Oof. That. That is not okay. Nope. <laughs> this shit oh yeah that's pretty that that sucks i have an eyelash that grows inward i have the constant feeling of something being in my eye Ugh. i hate that my wife doesn't change the toilet paper no one prefers it this way that's kind of yeah that's that's pretty Pretty maddening. Oh, what were you doing? You missed the whole thing. The whole thing. One sentence, 14 ands. When the wind was in the north, you could hear them. The horses and the breath of the horses, and the horses' hoofs that were shod in raw hide, and the rattle of lances, and the constant drag of the travel poles in the sand, like the passing of some enormous serpent, and the young boys naked on the wild horses, jaunty as circus riders, and hazing wild horses before them, and the dogs trotted with their tongues. A lull, that's a new word for me, and foot slaves following half naked and sorely burdened, and above all the low chant of their traveling song, which writers sang as they rode, nation and ghost of nation passing in a shaft coral <clears throat> across the mineral waste to the darkness bearing lost to all history and all remembrance like a grail of the sum of their secular and transit transitory and violent lives. Ugh, that was a mouthful of bullshit. I hated reading that.
You probably hated listening to that. But now we both hate it together. Alright. I, th I think I'm I think I'm all infuriated out. So I think I'm done with reading Reddit and um we can go back to just being me and you. <sighs> so question two after visiting that mildly infuriating Reddit <laughs> Does, is there anything in your life right now that is mildly infuriating? My answer to this. So, some mildly infuriating things. We don't have a fence around our yard. And because we don't have a fence around our yard, dogs or cats or other animals come into our yard and they defecate and do it everywhere on our yard from the plants to the grass to just everywhere out front and i know it's a problem and i know we need to gate it's just it costs money to put up a gate and it's really annoying to have to like mow the grass and then all of a sudden find poop or try stepping around in an area out there and then all of a sudden find poop it's it's pretty annoying it's really it makes me mad so all right question three this is not so much as mildly infuriating it's actually endangering i guess have you heard of the chemical cloud over ohio it's really a scary thing to think about I mean, the train that was delivering the chemicals ended up falling over and catching fire and exploding, um, and large plumes of smoke were sent to the air. Um, and the chemicals that were there, the only way to like make them go away is to use other chemicals that react with the chemical to turn it into something that just kind of vaporizes amongst the air. Um, they had to evacuate a 1.2 mile radius around the spill um, and they arrested people if they were, did not want to leave they arrested them for their own public safety um, anyway with that being said you could see the plume <laughs> i guess they, they had pictures uh, 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 a neighboring uh, flight took a picture of the clouds and they took a picture of this smokestack that was just you could see the black weight of it just up there with the clouds and it was really nasty looking and, and uh it only made me think so the plume is going into the sky and into the clouds right and the clouds have i don't know they're supposed to be clean clean water because that's just the way it is but if the plume is going through the clouds like aren't isn't that gonna send that other places too like it's gonna collect i don't know it kind of makes me wonder it's a little scary to think about um sidebar did you know that clouds being as big as they were if you were to take the complete weight of one cloud it would be about i think it said uh 20 tons which is pretty crazy to think about um clouds are very heavy but they float <laughs> all right that's enough thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed the video if you did please like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of my content That'd be awesome. Hit that notification bell if you would like to be notified when I have a new video coming up. Um, if you want to see more of me or, or check out more of my channels, you can check in the description down below. I have a TikTok, I have Instagram, I have a Facebook page, and I have a Smeal account where I do voice acting and I do singing. If you want to join, please do so. The app is free. Um, and you can look up the Valley Viking. I am there. And you can join me in the 
on any of my content for free. Um, if you want to look up any content on your own, it does cost money though. So thank you so much for watching again. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.